Sorry, that was my fault. Thank you. Yeah? Am I going low? Okay, let me check on my watch. Dexcom. 83 straight down. What a good boy. Good low. Yeah. If you saw a dog doing this, what would you think? Well, here is an explanation. This is a task that is taught to service dogs to aid those with PTSD, psychiatric or heart conditions. In my case, Delta is watching for people coming towards us so she can alert me to prevent me from being startled. By doing this, she is preventing a medical or psychiatric episode. Uh, ma'am, get your dog. Ma'am, get your dog. Get your dog. Excuse me, ma'am. You need to get out of here. Walmart's not pet friendly. He's a fully trained ESA. Walmart's ESA. not pet friendly. He's a fully trained ESA. <laughs> Properly trained service dog versus an ill-behaved service dog. Other dog smiles him before even seeing him. Noticing my dog and starts to pull very hard. Handler has to yank the dog back to get it to listen. My dog notices the other dog, but ignored it when given a single command. Meanwhile, the other dog is staring intensely only looking away for treats from the handler. When they passed to move forward, that dog tried to reach my dog once again while the handler wasn't paying attention. They moved to the counter and the dog was staring mine down most of the time. Notice how the dog even jumps on the way station, not well behaved at all, but still given the green light to fly. Meanwhile, my well-trained service dog and I get stopped and refused everywhere we go because of this. Service dog or not, dogs like these should not be out in public. Oh, please don't pet him. He, no, please don't pet him. He's working. He's I don't a, want to frighten him. I no, want to pet him. No, no, he's, so he's a service dog? I know. So petting a service dog when they're working can actually be distracting to them. So you never want to pet pet a dog without asking. Do you mind if I pet you? Please leave him be. He's working. Sorry. This is what having a service dog in high school looks like. In the morning, she has the option to go to the bathroom before we go into school. This is first block. As you can see, she just lays under the table. Then we're heading to second block. We do get to leave class early to beat the busy halls. Also, I never realized how slow I walked. We're waiting outside a second block. This is us in second block. On our way to third block. This is third block. She's actually tasking here. This is light pressure therapy. And it was lunchtime. After I took her outside, we came in and just kind of messed around for a little bit. This is kind of her break time. Normally we play outside, but it was pretty cold today. I did forget to record when I took her out. I think I had left my phone inside or something. I don't really remember. And then we went back to third block because that's the block that our lunch is in. And this is us waiting outside of fourth block. This is us in fourth block. On our way to fifth block, I let Maple get a water break. She gets more than one. I just forget to record everything. But we have this little collapsible bowl. It's super handy. 
Maple getting a head massage while we're waiting to go into fifth block. This is fifth block. And then this is her doing forward momentum pulling um, while I'm walking to my mom's car. My hand is so shaky there for no reason. And then we went home. service dog. That is not a service dog. Service dogs don't bark. They're not aggressive. A service dog in training still needs to be under full control. I have to stop calling service dog handlers Karens because last I checked, advocating for our legal rights does not make us entitled. Just because you don't like the law does not mean they don't apply to you. So stop getting mad when we tell you not to bring your pets where they don't belong because Walmart and Target aren't pet friendly. This is what happens when the accessible stall is not accessible. My service dog and I are unable to comfortably fit in a regular stall, which is why we use the accessible stall. The reason the stall was not accessible is because kids had clogged the toilet with toilet paper and feminine products intentionally. This is me struggling to figure out how to get my service dog out of this stall. One of the key differences is the way that the door opens in the accessible stall versus a regular stall. The regular stall opens inward and the accessible stall opens outward. I'm not saying only disabled people can use the accessible stall. Just be mindful. It's there for a reason and people need it. Is he your service dog? Yeah, he is. Do you mind if I ask what he's servicing you for? Uh, he's for medical and cardiac alert. Oh, great. Because I was like, you do not look like you need a service dog. Yeah, we get that a lot. A lot of people are like, who are you training him for? I'm like, no, he's mine. Oh, Bless your heart for taking such good care of him. Oh, it's and a service person. dog. So someone had a service dog. Yeah. How long did it take to replace them? The service dogs take about two to three years to train. It's the luck of the drawer. If one's ready, fine. Exactly. It's, you can get a puppy to train, and it may not work as a service animal. You just never know. It takes a very specific dog to be able to do that so you stuff. Need to protect your you don't need necessarily a dog What's the dog's name? Uh, Lassie. Lassie? Yeah. Ooh, lucky was it? So my dog's name isn't actually Lassie. A very common question that service dog handlers will often get out in public is, what is your dog's name? To prevent our dogs from missing an alert or getting distracted by somebody calling their actual name, we like to make up fake names. In Fidget's case, it's Lassie. Now you shouldn't be calling them or distracting us. specifically for people with disabilities. Well, you looked up real good. I did, you're right. Have a good day. You too. What did you say? Here. I gotta, I gotta put it on face. Oh my god, because he was dog. Mabel. Hang on, hang on, this is really good. Hang on, just answer my face now, please. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god. Yes. Are you answering it? Okay, well, call me. Okay, call me back because I can't see you. It's too cute. Okay, hang on. Oh my God, this is adorable. Look at him. Hang on. Focus, Mabel. Yes. Look at him. Yes. 
Yes. Is he not adorable? Yes. Oh my sure. god, he is so cute. What kind yeah. of dog is that? She's a mix. Mix of. We great, have a shepherd. Great Pyrenees lab. He is so cute. And look at me, honey. You're so cute. Let me see. Oh my god. Can I pet him? I know he's No, dead. she's working right now. Oh, is she working? So, oh my god, look at him. Yes. He's too cute with those glasses. Thank now, you. What do those glasses do for? Um, they protect them from getting bumped with cards. I actually had a friend who had a service dog. She was a smaller breed, though, and her service dog got an injury to the eye from a shopping cart. Oh, wow. So it's just to protect. And they do the same thing as sunglasses do for people. Obviously, it's dark out so right now. Is she now. like one of those emotional support? No, things? she is a medical alert service dog. Okay. She's a medical alert service dog. So she's what kind of dog? Great Pyrenees Lab. Mix. Great, great Pyrenees. Great Pyrenees lamb. Yeah. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So Please stop doing this to service dog handlers. Service dogs are highly trained, but that doesn't mean they are not dogs and won't get distracted. People like this are what can distract for a split second and put in danger the handler. for Christmas actually. <laughs> Excuse me, I need you. What does my service dog do if he drops a treat? Mom, your heart rate is high. You should probably sit soon. Thank you no. Mom, I couldn't reach it without breaking my heel. Can I have another? I'm allowed to go back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Back to work. Hey, Mom, don't worry. I'm back. And your heart rate is still high. You really should do something about that. I'm gonna keep telling you until you do. How not to let your kid act around oh, service please dogs? Don't touch, please don't touch, honey. Thank you. The correct way to teach your kid about Daddy, service dogs. You your dog? I know it's a service dog. Yeah, he's working right now. He's working right now, so you can't pet him, okay? Yeah. You can look at him, though. You can look at him. He's yeah. working. See, he's busy working. He's taking care. So just in case something happens, he knows how to protect her. After spending Christmas alone, just the two of us, Mimi and I woke up at like 3 a.m. yesterday to get let you guys watch the video that I just stitched for yourselves but this influencer is claiming that she has a psychiatric service dog and flew with her. You might be asking how do you know this dog is not a psychiatric service dog? Number one it's pretty clear from the way it's acting in the video that it's not but I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Actually no I won't. Her dog is from what I understand about six months old. For reference, my actual psychiatric service dog is almost two and he is still not completely done with his training. And it has taken hundreds of hours, so much time, so much money to get him to the place where he is now so that he can help mitigate my disabilities. And it is extremely disrespectful to the service dog community for you to just get on social media and uh, claim that your dog is a psychiatric service dog just so that you can fly with it so and don't get me wrong like you can you can have your issues you can be disabled but that doesn't automatically make your dog a service dog i for one would love if we stopped letting influencers get away with things like this just because they have a following it is just encouraging more and more people to lie and take their pets on planes, into restaurants, whatever it is, and putting our real service dogs in danger. So just a really big F you to this creator. If you couldn't tell, I'm really mad. It's really, really sad to see people claim these things. And like I said, 
You might be asking, how can you tell? Just watch the video and look up what a real service dog looks like. Wretch, we're the wretch, we're the wretch. Please don't. It's not okay, though. It's not okay. If you do not meet these criteria, do not wish to perform these responsibilities. Sorry, she's very friendly. If you from performing or feel you might suffer bodily harm, if you perform these functions, please contact the flight attendant for reseating. 